Hello there. In today's tech tip, I want to talk about how to power wash a student or district Chromebook. Now, this also applies to uh, most typical Chromebooks that are out there. Uh, so it's a pretty easy process. Um, reasons why you want to power wash these computers is because maybe a student is noticing that there are pop-ups uh, or maybe a potential virus on their computer. Uh, you want a fresh start. So what a power wash will do is essentially reset the Chromebook so that you'll start over fresh. So it's a very easy process. You need to start off by going, uh, being on this sign in page. And what you will do is press these four keys at the same time, shift, control, alt, and R. And once you do that, you will get this page that says reset this Chromebook and simply just press power wash. Confirm. We'll continue, and here we go. Uh, when you power wash a computer, you know, most of the files or all the files will be deleted. Uh, whatever data that was there will be deleted as well. Um, but you don't really need to worry too much because most of your data, since you're using the Chromebook, uh, is attached to your or the student's district account. So whatever they have on their drive, whatever they have saved on their drive, uh, will be, uh, they'll be able to uh, access once the power wash is completed and then they sign back on. Now that it's finished, it says, welcome to your Chromebook. We'll press get started. And then this right here is probably the uh, ch most challenging part to this is to finish the power wash and to load the correct um, profile on here, uh, you're going to have to connect to the internet. Now, in order to do that, the simplest way is to go ahead and select WVUSD wireless. And then you need to join the Wi-Fi. Now, here's one main thing that you're going to have to change. Right here where it says server CA certificate, instead of default, you need to change that to do not check. Scroll down to the bottom right here and identity will be, uh, you could have the student enter in their uh, login information, uh, ID number at stu.wvsd.org, and then their password. You could also include yours if you'd like to do the process yourself. Um, I'll go ahead right here, complete the login, password, and then you could press save identity and password. You could turn that off uh, if you're paranoid and then you can go ahead and press connect. Now the process will continue and finish up. It says getting the device ready. And once it goes through this, you will then see the login uh, page after the enterprise enrollment is completed. So I hope this is helpful and do this. If you ever have uh, students who are having difficulty with their Chromebook, um, maybe it's glitching up. This is always one of the um, quickest uh, fixes or at least troubleshooting um, things that I will do uh, when a student comes to me for help. All right. So I hope this uh, helps and thank you for watching.